And once again, I'd like to say hello out there to Seattle Mariners baseball fans. Welcome to a very special edition of Jeff Baker Live, coming to you live from my living room because I'm not actually in Peoria. I, I actually have nothing better to do today except talk to you about the uh, ESPN 710 media bracket. And the reason I'm doing this show is because I'm up against Kevin Calabro, and uh, he's about to do his show in Seattle, uh, knowing that I don't have a blog to actually write on this week. Uh, and so Amy's away. Uh, she's uh, on a business trip, and um, I've got no actual real friends here in Seattle, only uh, friends on Facebook. And uh, so I have plenty of time on my hands, and I thought I would do this show to uh, make my case against uh, Kevin Calabro. Not that I need that much work, as a matter of fact, to make my case. Uh, those of you who followed uh, Kevin Calabro um, over the years should uh, realize that this really isn't much of a contest, but um, they're, they're actually making us go up against each other. So um, I thought I would just point out a few facts to you. Fact number one, um, it's come to my attention that, that Kevin Calabro did not vote for Edgar Martinez uh, when his name came up for the Hall of Fame ballot. I mean, you can take that to the bank. I have it on good authority. He did not cast a vote for Edgar Martinez. And uh, I also have it on good authority that he will not vote for Ken Griffey Jr. when he becomes eligible for the Hall of Fame. I can guarantee you he won't be voting for him. How do I know this? Uh, I just do. And, um, it, you know, that, that's the least of Kevin Calabro's uh, transgressions. Uh, in, in the previous round, in the, um, in the Sweet 16, Kevin Calabro actually uh, beat up on, on Shannon Dreyer, of all people. And, you know, Mariners fans... Uh, you know, that, that's here, here's a look at Shannon Dreyer uh, right before Kevin Calabro uh, basically shot her in the back in the last uh, in the last round. Now, you know, I don't know. I don't know about you, but uh, that, that's a little hard for me to swallow. Uh, Kevin Calabro, you know, very well known to uh, certain basketball fans in this city. Uh, but I have news from you for you. The city doesn't have a basketball team anymore. Um, you know, uh, here, let's take a look at this photo of Kevin Calabro. Now, what do you notice from that photo? You see Kevin Calabro with a Seattle Sounders uh, logo in behind him. That's because he's been named play-by-play -play man of the Seattle Sounders in this photo. And uh, guess what? One year later, Kevin Calabro is not anymore the voice of the Seattle Sounders. So, I mean, it, it just begs the question, uh, can this guy actually hold down a job? And, uh, you know, I think that's something that's really worthy of Seattle sports fans to be debating. Uh, first, he's got a basketball team that he's supposed to be commenting on, and mysteriously, that basketball team relocates to Oklahoma City. Uh, you know, and I, I'm not a firm believer in coincidences. Um, you know, there, there's too many eyes in coincidences, and there's no eyes in Calabro. So I don't know if there's a link there between coincidence and the fact that the Sonics left on Kevin Calabro's watch. But I mean, that has to be pointed out. You know, I'm just I'm just presenting the facts, and, and may the chips fall. Uh, where they may. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, the guy's the voice of the Sounders one minute, and then he's the voice of nothing the next minute. And you, you've got to ask yourself, I mean, what is it about Kevin Calabro? That there, there's no sense of permanence here. Now, I know some of you grew up listening to Kevin Calabro, and he's sort of your boyhood icon and or, or your girlhood icon or, or whatever you want that to be. But the, the truth is, I mean, I was a big fan of Heart growing up, the music group Heart. I, I thought they were really great. But I'll tell you what, if somebody was going to ask me to vote for my favorite Seattle uh, pop band of, of 2009 uh, or 2010, uh, you wouldn't hear Hart mentioned in that list. So I'm not sure what Kevin Calabro being your boyhood idol has to do with the price of tea in, in, in Zimbabwe or anything like that. So other than that, um, you know, we just have to look at the facts of things. And the fact is, Kevin Calabro, I mean, look at him. The guy's got no hair. You know, how, how do you vote for a guy with no hair? You look over here, this guy, this guy has lots of hair. Now, you might think this guy's being a bit of an opportunist, uh, you know, promoting himself on this show. But let's face it, I'm the only print media guy left in this contest. I mean, we've got, we're, we're up against TV and radio people who have tens of thousands of people at their command, at their disposal, every minute of every day. I don't have that. You know, I'm just a poor guy with a newspaper blog who doesn't even have access to his newspaper blog this week. And I think that the contest was de deliberately rigged. Uh, you know, in Calabro's favor because of that. Let's look at the facts. Again, he works for ESPN. ESPN's running this contest. What a mysterious uh, happenstance that he, he just so happens to go up against me the one week that I don't have access to my blog, my only tools of power at my disposal. So we have to present these facts to you. We'll also present the facts that, I mean, look at Kevin Calabro. Does he look like he ever played a sport to you? Doesn't look like he ever played a sport to me. Uh, you know, not a sport that actually involved real contact 
Uh, as you may have heard, I actually played a little football back in the day. Uh, you know, you might not have seen this photo uh, before, but I'll, I'll show it to you once again since, uh, since I can never get enough of putting this up on my, uh, on my blog or on my Facebook. Why don't you have another look at it right now? Yeah, that was up in the Canadian north. That was up in the frozen tundra. If you, if you ever wanted to see me in, in live action, here's, here's some video footage that you can look at, some actual proof of my football abilities. Pretty hard to dispute that, isn't it? And, uh, you know, i, I got to admit, that wasn't exactly me. That was Willie Parker, but it, it was being controlled by me. And, uh, you know, you saw him shrug off the, the initial hit there and just keep on going. And you did see the weather conditions. It's the same thing as playing in Canada. So uh, I think that was an accurate depiction of, of what you would see if there was actually video footage taken of me playing in an actual game. Not that our games were important enough to have any video footage taken, but, uh, you know, that, it, it's a lifelike recreation. So you can take it that way. And, uh, you know, what else can I say? I mean, there's not much else to go into on that. Let's take a couple of your calls. Uh, let's take a couple. Of, let's hear what you guys have to ask. Oh, here's Mariner fan down in Peoria asked me, how can Kevin Calabro even hope to go up against you? He doesn't cover any sports that matter. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't cover any sports that matter in Seattle anymore. I mean, he's a basketball guy, um, you know, and he's not a soccer guy anymore. I mean, soccer matters in Seattle, but he's no longer with them. He's a basketball dude, and there's no basketball left in Seattle. You vote for me. I mean, I've shown you. I know about baseball sometimes. Uh, I know a little bit about football. We all know I know about hockey. I called that gold medal win for Canada, didn't I? I predicted it right after the U.S. beat them in the games that didn't matter. So, uh, you know, you want a guy covering the sports that are actually relevant in Seattle, you got to vote for Baker, and you got to do it right now. Uh, I would take the rest of your calls, but the truth is I like to sit here and talk about myself more than anything else. And so uh, I'm going to say to you one more time, uh, you know, get in the spirit of this thing. Uh, vote easy vote often for jeff baker of course because kevin calabro let's face it he's kind of boring you know he has no hair he's kind of boring wears glasses never played the game never played any game really that i can think of uh he cheats everybody at his station cheats and uh you know that's about all i can say to you for now so stay tuned for another special edition of jeff baker live which is going to come up exactly when i feel like uh padding my vote totals a little bit and remember the voting ends tomorrow at 11 pacific time so Vote now, vote often, and be smart. We'll see you all next time. Take care.